Good morning everybody. Uh, this is my trip from uh, El Calafate to Punta Arenas. In, so I have to cross another border into uh, from Argentina into Chile. And this is going to be, I have to do these border crossings once you, anyone has to do them, once you get closer to uh, uh, Ushuaia, uh, there's a bit of crisscrossing in, in and about. The countries have actually gone to war over these areas a couple of times. Um, it is a little bit ridiculous, but one good thing about this border is everything was in the one building. So all of the um, the border crossing all happened in one. So you, you went from Argentina into Chile and then back to uh, uh, and, and, and into Chile all in the one building. There's basically four uh, four stations and they're actually, they're actually clearly marked. Um, one thing, one thing to know when you go to borders is if, you, if you're wearing your white motorcycle gear, they'll and if you need to go to get it, they'll know that you need to get an aduana, and usually they'll just point you to the next desk. Just ask, uh, you know, just point me the figures which way to go, and they'll they'll tell you which way to go. But it was a pretty easy process. It was probably about 30 to 40 people waiting in front of me, but they had enough staff there that it, that everything happened fairly quickly. But this was a pretty miserable day for me. Um, the next two days, today and the next day, this is coming up. This is not the actual water crossing. This is um, this is just getting checked as I go into Chile. Oh, oh Ushuaia, see. See? So they'll ask you the same questions each time. Where are you going to, where you come from, uh, and Usually they'll let you on your way fairly quickly. I, I thought he wanted to see my passport, but uh, he didn't even check any of my papers. So. Yeah. Okay. On your way again. So that was after the border crossing. Um, yeah, and it probably after in, in about 30 minutes now, it just started raining the whole way. Uh, so it was pretty miserable. It's, luckily, it had stopped by the time I got to Punta Arenas. Um, which is a little nice little gateway town, but it, it was out actually out of my way for my next ride. But I just wanted to visit it, have a walk around. Um, it's on a lake, uh, on a bay, um, and it's uh, it, it's quite a nice little place, you know. Um, but I only I only did stay there. Um, I only did stay there for 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 the one for the one uh, for the one night. Um, and then I got on my way back into uh, to get to Rio Grande um, and get to Ushuaia. So um, it was uh, yeah, pretty miserable weather conditions. So there's not much to show in it, and there wasn't wasn't anything really to see either. It was all fairly barren, um, and um, yeah, and there was only I had a I had a short stint on the on the dirt maybe about 10 kilometres of road being reconstructed and you had to go off to the side which was pretty muddy and slippery um, but yeah it was pretty miserable sort of riding day um, but it was just a point A to point B day anyway so um, it wasn't too bad I'd sort of put in my mind it still took me about eight, over eight hours to do the whole trip um, but uh, you know, all things considered it was now all about getting to Ushuaia and uh, and, and finishing the, the next big leg of the trip. Um, and from Ushuaia, there's a, there's a few, I'd spend a few days down there having a look around and get to the end of, uh, end of the road, basically the last road uh, south of South America. So, um, yeah, so basically uh, just get all your paperwork in order uh, before you get to the border. Just saves you much time. As I said, have all your originals in a waterproof uh, waterproof uh, 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 bag, so that so that when you actually get to the border, they'll ask for your originals, and then you have also have all your copies of another, and make sure they're waterproof satchels, uh, because you're going to be using them a lot through your trip. And you know, even though I had, you know, my uh, my my title was still in pretty good condition by the end of the trip, and if I hadn't have done that, because you're pulling it out in the rain. Um, you know, if you if you don't have protective sleeves for, for these things, you're going to find just get yourself in trouble with those documents down the track. Um, but anyway, any questions or comments, leave them below. 
Um, it's just a short video this one because it was a pretty miserable day and it wasn't much to film the whole time except for rain and water, uh, rain and, uh, and, and clouds. So um, any questions or comments, leave them below. Have a great day.